My wife and I both love animals, and whenever we're on vacation, we like to include an activity where we can experience some of the local wildlife. We've seen kangaroos in Australia, bison in the Badlands, and sloths in Costa Rica. So when we had the opportunity to visit a turtle sanctuary in Grand Cayman, we were all in. Thanks for watching Backroads Tourist today. I'm Jeff, and one of the ports we visited on our Panama Canal cruise was Grand Cayman. So we booked this excursion that included the Cayman Turtle Center. Now, in one of my previous videos, I told you about this excursion and how I really didn't like it because it was so rushed. Along with the Turtle Center, we visited the town of Hell and a crowded little gift shop. We only got to spend about an hour at the Turtle Center, and I wish we would have had more time there. Although we were rushed through the exhibits, I did manage to take some video, so let me show you a glimpse of what there is to see at the Cayman Turtle Center. We saw turtles of all sizes and all colors. There was even a touch tank where you were able to give one a pat as they swam by. Hey, if you could do me a huge favor by giving this video a like, I'd greatly appreciate it. Liking a video tells YouTube that there's an interest in this sort of content, and then they're more likely to recommend it to others. And if you're feeling particularly generous, I'd also appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to the Backroads Tourist Channel. Two new videos come out each week. One is cruise-related, like this one, and the other is based around strange, quirky, and wonderful places all over the country. Subscribing is free, and it doesn't put you on any sort of mailing list or anything like that. It's easy, too. Just click that subscribe button down below, and you're on your way. If you're staying there for a longer time, the Turtle Center also offers a chance to snorkel with and feed the turtles. The center is very big on education and conservation, and every year they release turtles back into the wild. To date, they've bred and released over 34,000 turtles into the ocean. Along with the turtles, there were other exhibits as well. There was a butterfly house, but we didn't see that many butterflies in there. We were also tempted to go into the aviary, but we were running kind of short on time and we didn't want to miss our bus ride back to the ship. The Turtle Center has lots of opportunities for photo ops, as well as food, places to relax, and of course, places to shop. The gift shop you exit through is pretty big. If you have someone on your gift list who really loves turtles, you're going to find something for them here. They have stuffed turtles, toy turtles, turtle t-shirts, turtle artwork, turtle glasses. If you can put a turtle on it, they have it.
I'm sure there was much more to see, but we just didn't have the time. If we were to book another excursion, we'd make sure it was just to the Turtle Center so we'd have more time to explore and enjoy watching and interacting with these beautiful turtles. Are you an animal lover too? What's your favorite animal themed place to visit? Put your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks again for watching Backroads Tourist. I'm Jeff, and I'll see you on the backroads or on a future cruise.